Lee Rob, the Clint family in Oakland, Iowa, adopted Megan later in her life when she was six years old. Her biological sister tells me it was hard to see her go 10 years ago, but never gave up hope of one day reconnecting with her little sister, and she got that chance days before Megan died. I just want to say one more time, thanks for being my sister, and I love you. Paige Huff waited 10 years for a letter from her baby sister. I had always looked for her and always thought about her. The two sisters separated when the family put six-year-old Megan up for adoption. It was one of the hardest days of my life. Paige was 16. Grown up, she wasn't my sister. She was basically my kid. Like, I helped take care of her, change her, watched her all the time, took her to school, taught her how to write her name, do her homework. Like, you know, she's my everything. She is my everything. <laughs> the adoption court made the rules. No contact for the biological sisters until Megan turned 18. But last December, fate had other plans. I just said Megan. She turned around. And she, that was always my fear. She wouldn't know who I was or remember me, recognize me. She was little. A chance encounter at a mall reunited the sisters. So she turned around and like oh my god and like started crying and like hugged me it was like the best thing that ever happened with the clint family's blessing the sisters slowly rekindled their relationship this past year and for the first time in a decade paige wished megan a happy birthday when she turned 16 december 2nd i won't forget that day now Paige is figuring out how to say goodbye again after Megan died in the school bus fire in Oakland Tuesday morning. Megan was always kind of my happy ending that I waited for and that pushed me through. They say invisible ties between sisters carry the strongest bonds. Paige says her and Megan make that true. It was always my fear she wouldn't remember me, so I'm so glad she did. And part of holding on to hope of finding her sister again is this tattoo right here. Paige put Megan's initials, Megan May, in an infinity heart on her wrist when she was 20 years old. Now, she never thought it would turn into a remembrance for Megan. Now, Paige says she's also grateful for the short time that they did spend together. Rob, back to you.